conics it is also the locus of a point that is the movement of a point if a point moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point bears a constant ratio to its perpendicular distance from a fixed straight line then the path described by the moving point is called a conic okay so the distance between a fixed point and from a distance line from a fixed straight line it should have a constant ratio so the movement of a point should have a constant ratio between a fixed point and a fixed straight line then the path described by the moving point that is the locus of the point is called a conic here the fixed point here f is the fixed point and it is the fixed line it is p is the moving point okay so the distance between the fixed line and the point and the fixed distance between the fixed point and the moving point should be a should be in a constant ratio so the distance between the fixed point and moving point is called as fp we denote it as fb similarly the distance between the fixed line and the moving point is known as pm okay so fp by pm is equal to e the constant constant ah irukano and the distance vand same ah irukano okay so this e is known as the eccentricity of the conic we call this e as eccentricity according to this e the path of the point are having specific names according to the value of e the path of the point are having particular shapes okay so based on the value of eccentricity we can classify the conics namely if e is equal to 1 that is the distance between the point when will you have e is equal to 1 if fp and pm are equal then they get cancelled and the value of e is equal to 1 that means the distance between the point and moving point and the distance between the fixed line and the moving point should be equal okay equal id rendu equal a irundada in the distance so in the distance equal a irundada unakku e1 kadaikum okay so if e is equal to 1 that is the eccentricity is 1 then the conic is called a parabola if e is less than 1 the conic is called an ellipse if e is greater than 1 the conic is called a hyperbola also the shapes are the cross sections of cones okay if you see this picture you can understand it is a picture of a cone idu or cone illaya so the circle circle is the horizontal cross section of the cone if you cut the cone in this shape you will get an ellipse if you cut the cone in this direction in this angle you get a parabola if you get if you cut the cone in this direction then you get a hyperbola okay so in this picture you can understand so to get a circle you have to cut it horizontally vertical uh, horizontal cross section you get circle okay so konja angle la panna ellipse in the angle la panna parabola okay so these shapes are the cross sections of a cone okay. so the general second degree equation okay is this here if it is the circle a is equal to b similarly 
if the above two conditions are not satisfied then if h square minus ab is equal to 0 it is a parabola if h square minus ab is less than 0 we get ellipse if h square minus ab is greater than 0 it is a hyperbola in this chapter we are going to study about parabola only these are some real life examples of parabola here in this mcdonald symbol you can see a parabola two parabolas right so here in this ride also even the path of a dolphin it is also in the shape of parabola the bridges even the dish we use is also in the shape of parabola so the locus of a point locus means moment whose distance from a fixed point is equal equal fixed point to move on the point to call distance okay is equal to its distance from the fixed line so here this is the fixed point f f is the fixed point and this line it is the fixed line p is the moving point so the distance between the line and the point and distance between these two points if they are equal if the two measurements are equal then we can call it as a parabola when the point is here as well the distance will be equal okay so here this is our y axis and this is the directrix and it is our x axis okay so if this point is f a comma 0 it means the distance between the origin and this point is a origin kun the point kun nadulola gap a okay so the distance between the origin and the directrix is also a minus a r kun the pakko liya so idu 4 units na idu 4 units aadha irukko okay so the distance between the moving point and the directrix similarly the distance between the moving point and the fixed point are equal and then we call it as a parabola so in parabola these are all the important terms it is our x axis and y axis and the fixed point is called as focus the fixed point is called as focus and the fixed line is called as the directrix this line is known as latus rectum and this line the center line it divides the parabola into two equal parts so we call it as axis of symmetry okay so here the fixed point it is f the fixed point is called as focus and the fixed line is called as directrix this is known as latus rectum look this is the moving point the moving point it must be p and this must be our moving point the distance between the focus and moving point is equal to the distance between the directrix and the point okay it should be perpendicular on the line perpendicular or no vertex vertex the distance between the vertex and focus is always equal to the distance between vertex and directrix so in the 90 degree work okay so this is the on the points connect pannon chonna we'll get the parabola okay the mother in array points to have the common distance between the fixed point and the moving point. 
fixed point and moving point ki inga or line similarly a straight line here okay moving point inga irukum bodu the distance between the focus and directrix okay so equal distance la move aite poite irukum if we join all the points then you will get a parabola the important terms so focus the fixed point in the parabola is called as focus directrix yes that is the fixed line what is the axis that is the axis of symmetry the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts this is the now here x axis is the axis of symmetry the vertex what is the vertex the point of intersection of the parabola with its axis so point of axis and the symmetry axis of symmetry ko in the parabola ko ulla intersection point is known as vertex v here origin la parabola irukiradunala v is 0,0 the focal distance the distance between a point on the parabola and its focus focal distance that is fp is the focal distance and focal chord a chord which passes through the focus of the parabola is called the focal chord of the parabola focus veliya pass pandra chord ku peru focal chord latus rectum it is the focal chord perpendicular to the axis so adu veliya cross pandra ella chords me focal chords so latus rectum eppadi irukum appadina it should be parallel perpendicular to the axis so ipdi perpendicular ah irundhudu appdin sonna okay if it is perpendicular to the focal the axis of symmetry then we call it as latus rectum so idu perpendicular ah irukanum okay so this is the parabola that faces the right side towards right it faces towards right and the equation of this parabola is y square is equal to 4ax if it faces towards right we this the equation of the parabola is y square equal to 4ax if it is open towards left then the equation is y square is equal to minus 4ax okay na inga focus vande opposite direction poradunala x axis anga negative aidu yeah so it is minus a comma 0 if it is open upward then it is x square is equal to 4ay adala y square because it lies on the x axis okay now it lies towards the y axis so x square is equal to 4ay if it is open upward the equation is x square is equal to 4ay if it is open downwards then it is x square is equal to minus 4ay in all the cases a is greater than 0 a is always positive so for all the four types of parabola the axis is given the vertex focus equation of the directrix length of latus rectum and equation of latus rectum it is given okay so you have to learn it but remember one thing in all the four cases that is given here the parabola lies on the origin vertex vand origin 0,0 va da irukku the vertex of the parabola is origin in all the four cases it is in the origin but not every time we can draw parabola like that so sometimes the vertex of the parabola lies somewhere else on the plane ella naramu origin la irukadu okay so the general form of the standard equation of parabola 
which is open right word first right word dhan paaka poorom that is the vertex is other than the origin origin illama irundha so instead of 0 comma 0 some point there will be some point that is h comma k so y square is equal to 4 a x will be shifting into y minus k the whole square that is equal to 4 a into x minus h y square is equal to 4 a x instead of y we are going to write y minus k and instead of x we are going to write x minus h because the point is h comma k ok so the other general forms if it open left words then it is y minus k the whole square minus 4 a is equal to minus 4 a into x minus h similarly open upwards of dina adeda y ku badala x square is equal to 4 a y origin a irundudna so it is x minus h the whole square is equal to 4 a into y minus k if it is open downwards the similar formula but minus 4 a into y minus k over first question in exercise 3.6 find the equation of the parabola whose focus is the point f minus 1 minus 2 and the directrix is the line 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 ok so for parabola what is the formula we have learnt fp that is the distance between the focus and the point divided by pm is the distance between the directrix and the point is equal to 1 that implies fp is equal to pm always for a parabola the distance between the point and the focus is equal to if it is the parabola and it is the directrix the distance the moving point p the distance between the focus and the point is always equal to the distance between p and directrix that is only fp and it is f here m so fp is equal to pm here f focus is minus 1 and minus 2 we take p the random point as x comma y and the directrix is 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 these are all the given things from the problem now we have to find the equation of the parabola and its focus and directrix so the known formula is fp is equal to pm what is fp fp is the distance between the focus and directrix and the point the moving point sorry the moving point distance between f and p we the well known distance formula that is equal to square root of x minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 the whole square plus y minus of minus 2 plus 2 the whole square square root of x minus x1 the whole square plus y minus y1 the whole square so this is a distance between f and p now we have to find the distance between m and p that is the fixed point and the point on the directrix it is the perpendicular distance right distance between the point and this line the perpendicular distance so what is the formula to find the perpendicular distance that is equal to 4x minus 3y plus 2 divided by square root of 4 square plus minus 3 square usually perpendicular distance kind of on the point x and y which is the numerator now here the point itself x and y and in the directrix equation 
the variables are x and y so 4x minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0 in case inga vera edavadhu coordinates kuduthirundaangala you have to replace it okay but inga x indranal x y indranal y divided by 4 square plus minus 3 the whole square that is equal to 4x minus 3y plus 2 divided by square root of what is 4 square 16 plus 9 square sorry 3 square it is 9 so 4x minus 3y plus 2 divided by square root of 25 and I write it as 5 is it fp is equal to pm so square root of x plus 1 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole square is equal to 4x minus 3y plus 2 by 5 the here we have square root isn't it so we can square both sides so you get x plus 1 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole square is equal to 4x minus 3y plus 2 the whole square divided by 25 that is pi square now we have to expand this a plus b the whole square so x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 is equal to here a plus b plus c so the formula is a plus b plus c the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. So we are going to expand this according to this formula. Similarly on the left x plus 1 the whole square plus y plus 2 the whole square. So a plus b the whole square formula which is expand pandra, x plus 1 the whole square. So x square plus 2x plus 1. Similarly, y plus 2 the whole square. Here, a square plus b is minus 3y. So, b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca that is ac. Okay. So, divided by 25, we can cross multiply s yes, so the, to the opposite side. So, it is 25 into x square. Now we can multiply 25 inside the equation. So 25x square plus 25y square plus 25 into 2x that is 50x 25 into 1 or 1 plus 4 5 very good. So 25 into 5 it is 125 here 4y into 25 so 100y. On the right 4x the whole square that is 16x square minus 3y square that is 9y square 2 square is 4 here 2 into 4 into minus 3 so it is minus 24 x y and 2 into minus 3 into 2 so it is 2 into 2 4 4 3 is 12 minus 12 plus 2 into 4 x into 2 that is 2 into 4 8 16 so it is 16 x now we are bringing all the terms to one side of the equal to okay well, equation and then we can simplify it so here 25x square here minus 16x square 9x square 25y square <coughs> simplifying the like terms 25y square the minus 9y square so 50x here we have minus 16x so it is 34x 100y here plus 12y so 112y Similarly, 1xy term, 24xy, that is 24xy. Here plus 125 and there minus 4. So, it is plus 121 is equal to 0. And this is the required equation of the parabola. Second question. The parabola y square is equal to kx passes through the point 4, comma minus 2. Find its lattice rectum and focus. So, the parabola given is y square is equal to kx and it passes through the point 4, minus 2. This is the x coordinate and it is the y coordinate. We have to find the value of k 
So we have to substitute these points in the equation. So minus 2 square is equal to k into 4. So it is minus 2 square 4 is equal to k into 4. That is 4k. That implies k is equal to 1. So y square is equal to kx. So moves the parabola opens towards right. That is the positive x y square is equal to 4ax in the formula. Okay. So the given equation, the equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4ax. So y square is equal to kx and we have found that k is equal to 1. So y square is equal to x. What is the general form? That is y square is equal to 4ax. While comparing this two, we get 4a is equal to 1. While comparing these two equations. Okay. Equation y square is equal to kx is given in the problem. We have found k is equal to 1. So y square is equal to x number equation. The general form is y square is equal to 4ax. Because it is positive. A positive varra madri irindudina. It opens towards the right. So y square is equal to 4ax. While comparing these two equations we get 4a is equal to 1. That implies A is equal to 1 by 4. What is the focus for this equation, for this parabola? Focus F is A comma 0. So A is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 comma 0 is the focus. What we have to find? We have to find the length of lattice rectum. So length of lattice rectum is equal to 4a. What is our a here? 1 by 4. So 4 into 1 by 4 and it is equal to 1. So length of lattice rectum is 1. So y square is equal to 4ax and it is a simple curve. Right? And it passes through the origin. So it is y square is equal to 4ax. What is the equation of lattice rectum? That is x is equal to a. That is x minus a is equal to 0. And so that implies x minus what is our a? 1 by 4 is equal to 0. While taking LCM it is 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. And this is the equation of the lattice rectum. Find the vertex focus axis directrix and length of lattice rectum of the parabola y square minus 8y minus 8x plus 24 is equal to 0. y square minus 8y minus 8x plus 24 is equal to 0. So we have to find uh, the general form first, right? So y square first yedika square vandriko you keep it on your left that coordinate okay so y square minus 8y it y square one so y square minus 8y is equal to while going to the other side it will become plus 8x and minus 24 actually y square so we have to make it as a whole equation how to write it so here the co coefficient of y is 8 if I divide it by 2, what do you get? 4. Right. So, y square minus 8y plus 4 square. Similarly, 8x minus 24 plus 4 square. If I add the same number on both sides of the equation, the value doesn't change. So, plus 4 square plus 4 square on both the sides I have added. So, y square minus 8y plus 4 square. Here, 8x minus 24 plus 4 square. So, y square minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 8x minus 24 plus 16. I can write this as FDL. So, y 
minus 4 the whole square. Factorizing. So, the factors of 16 are minus 4 and minus 4. You will get, while multiplying you get 16 and while adding you get minus 8. So, y minus 4 the whole square. Here it is 8x minus 24 plus 16. So, you get minus 8. That is equal to, if I take 8 as common, it will become x minus 1. Here it is y minus 4 the whole square. This is our equation. So, here I write it as y square. A general form is y square is equal to 4ax. Isn't it? So, y square is equal to 4ax. So, for in terms of 4, I can write 8 as 4 into 2. And write x minus 1 as capital X. Where capital Y is y minus 4 and capital X is x minus 1. Here, the focus is not the origin. The vertex is not the origin. Okay, so capital Y square is equal to 4AX. That implies A is equal to 2 here. A is equal to 2. You know, 4 into 2 into X. That is 4AX. So, A is equal to 2 while comparing this. Okay, so now we have to write the usually if it is in the origin our vertex is 0 comma 0 isn't it vertex is 0 comma 0 that means x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 but here we have our capital x is x minus 1 and capital y is y minus 1 so y minus 4 is equal to 0 that implies y is equal to 4 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 that implies x is equal to 1 and so our vertex is x coordinate and y coordinate 1 comma 4 that is our vertex okay focus what is the focus usually our focus is a comma 0 here our vertex is 0 comma 0 you learn the table properly ma then only you can write this so focus is a comma 0 what is our a here here our a is 2 so here our x coordinate is uh, 2 and our y coordinate is 0 x comma y so x is equal to a a is 2 so x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0 so, x another small x minus 1. In terms of small x and small y, we have to write. So, x minus 1 is equal to 2 and y minus 4 is equal to 0. That implies x is equal to 3, 2 plus 1 and y is equal to 4. So, our focus is 3 comma 4. Okay, origin the problem is In the madri varumbodu y minus 4 x minus 1 with some co coordinate varumbodhu we have to do like this axis y square abdin soli vandhudhu abdin ale it is x axis so capital y is equal to 0 ok that's the axis what is our capital y it is y minus 4 so y minus 4 is equal to 0 that implies y is equal to 4 is the axis now directrix Directrix is x plus a is equal to 0. Okay. So, here x plus, what is our a? 2 is equal to 0. Our capital X is x minus 1. So, x minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. That implies x plus 1 is equal to 0. That is x is equal to minus 1. That is our directrix and length of lattice rectum is 4a what is our 4a here 4a is 8 4a x in a 4a credit link 8 so 4a is equal to 8 that in 
Okay, that's it. 4a is equal to 8. That is our length of lattice vector. Or 4 into 2. That is also equal to 8. A is equal to 2. So, 4 into 2, that is equal to 8. 4a is the length of lattice vector. So, you have to write this as a table. Now, the fourth problem. Find the coordinates of the focus vertex equation of the directrix axis and the length of the lattice rectum of parabola. Three problems are given there. Now we are going to do the last subdivision that is x square is equal to minus 16y alone. The first two is left for you to do it as a homework. Okay. So x square is equal to minus 16y. The equation itself they have given so we can know that the vertex is 0, 0. That is the origin. So, x minus y minus up to varla. So, x square is equal to minus 16y. So, x square is equal to, our general form is x square is equal to minus 4ay. Isn't it? So, here while comparing this two equation, a minus 4a equal to minus 16. So, a is equal to 16. 4 minus minus will get cancelled 4 times, isn't it? So, a is equal to 4. Now, we can write the vertex focus axis everything. First, vertex. In the minus vachi edu varla, minus or plus vachi edu varla. So, the vertex is 0, 0. Focus. What is the focus? The equation is x square is equal to minus 4ay. So, the parabola is facing downwards. The parabola is facing downwards. If dirko. x square is equal to minus 4ay. So, vertex is 0, 0. What is its focus? Its focus is 0, minus a. That is 0, or a is 4. So, it is minus 4. What is the axis? It is x square. So, y is x is equal to 0, x axis. Now, we have to find the equation of directrix. What is the equation of the directrix? y is equal to a. y is equal to a is the equation of the directrix. So, that implies y is equal to 4. y minus 4 is equal to 0. That is the equation of the directrix. Length of lattice rectum. Length of lattice rectum is 4a. So, 4a. 4 into 4. That is equal to 16. And equation of the lattice rectum. Equation of lattice rectum is y is equal to minus a. That implies y is equal to minus 4. That is y plus 4 is equal to 0. So we have written vertex focus axis equation of the directrix length of the lattice rectum and equation of the lattice rectum all the six subdivisions okay learn the table properly then only you can write like fifth problem the average variable cost of a monthly output of x tons of a firm producing a valuable metal is rupees 1 by 5 x square minus 6x plus 100 show that the average cost average variable cost curve is a parabola also find the output and average cost at the vertex of the parabola so it's a curve uh, of a firm that is uh, producing some valuable metal and the monthly output
we have to show that the average variable cost curve is a parabola also we have to find the output and average cost of the vertex so the vertex the coordinates are x and y so i take x as output and y as the average cost x as the output and y as the average cost what is given so this is the curve they have given so 1 by 5 x square minus 6 x plus 100 it is the average variable cost we take average cost as y so this is equal to y now we have to rewrite the equation so take 5 as lcm x square minus 30 x plus 500 whole thing divided by 5 is equal to y that implies x square minus 30 x plus 500 is equal to 5 y we have to first to find whether it is a parabola or not we have to write in the form of a square x square is equal to or y square is equal to but here we have x square only so i keep x square minus 30 x here on the one side on my left hand that is equal to 5y minus 500 on my right okay so x square minus 30 x other square is on the term what to the constant and 5y now we have to find the term to make it as a perfect square so how would you how would you find it to divide it by 2 so you get 15 so plus 15 square on both sides you have to add 15 square on both sides so this is x minus 15 the whole square x minus 15 the whole square here 5y minus 500 plus 15 square is 225 that is equal to 5y minus 275 here so we can take 5 as common so 5 into y minus 5 5 is 25 remaining 2 so 5 5 is 25 so x minus 15 the whole square is equal to 5 into y minus 55 okay so this is where I can write it as x square is equal to 4a into capital Y where x is equal to x minus 15 and y is equal to y minus 55. Now this is the form of a parabola that implies the average variable cost curve is a parabola we have proved that now we have to find the output and average cost of the vertex of the parabola okay so vertex what is the vertex vertex is 0 comma 0 that implies capital X is equal to 0 and capital Y is also equal to 0. What is our capital X? Our capital X is X minus 15. So X minus 15 is equal to 0. That implies X is equal to 15. Similarly, Y minus 55 is equal to 0. That implies y is equal to 55. So, at the vertex, output. What is the output? Output is 15 tons. And the average cost. The average cost is rupees 55. X is our output and y is our average cost. Sixth question. The profit 
rupees y accumulated in thousands in x month is given by y is equal to minus x square plus 10x minus 15 find the best time to end the project and x is in months isn't it the profit is in rupees and it is accumulated in thousands in x months so x is months and it is the time and y is the profit and it is in rupees what is the given curve so y is equal to minus x square plus 10x minus 15 so we have to bring x square so we have to bring it on my left so it is x square minus 10x minus x square while coming to the opposite side it will become plus x square 10x it is minus 10x and y while going to this side it is minus y already minus 15 is there so we have to add a number here right x square minus 10x which number you have to add you have to divide this by 2 and you get 5 so plus 5 square on both the sides i can write it as x minus 5 the whole square and it has minus y minus 15 plus 25 that is equal to minus y plus 10 so, x minus 5, the whole square is equal to minus of y minus 10. So, x square is equal to 4ay. That is the, uh, it is in the, the required format and it is a parabola. Now, I can write it as capital X square is equal to minus 4ay that implies capital X is x minus 5 and capital Y as y minus 10. So the parabola here we are having the negative symbol so the parabola is open downwards. Downwards open panirkara or a parabola. We have to find the best time to end the project. Best time to end the project. What will be the best time? On the curve, yappo mala higher ko, that is the best time. So, yappo higher irkudu, now that is the vertex. When, in the vertex, when the curve comes to the vertex, the value is high. Okay, mala pretty varra erathlana higher ko. Okay, so we have to find the vertex. What is the vertex? Vertex is 0, 0. Here, so x is equal to 0 and y is also equal to 0. Here, x is x minus 5 is equal to 0. Y is y minus 10 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 5. What is the best time to end the project? 5 is the x is the time. So, x is months. That implies in 5 months, we can end the project. That is equal to 5 months. We will get money. Okay. So, in five months, we can end the project.